Hey there, Chuck Fast coming at you with another one of these driveway fix-it vids. This time I'm going to stick one of these here Odyssey batteries into my Z28 Camaro and they're a little bit different shapes so every car is going to be a, maybe a slightly different challenge as far as putting them in but they always fit. One thing, you can see how small it is. 24 pounds. Battery like this. Uh, so we're going to take this interstate out of here and stick this in. And see how it's going to work in the car. These are, uh, these are dry cell batteries. And uh, you can lay them down any way you want. I'll probably have this thing set in here sideways. Uh, kind of different different kind of a battery. I'll take and stick a, uh, I'll put a link down here for you and there's a place where you can go maybe get some more information on these batteries. I'm going to try this one out here. Uh, you can, uh, these batteries are real popular especially in motorsports and in a lot of other applications. Uh, Maybe the, I can get you a link on here to hook you up with Scott over there at SS Specialties who uh, puts these things in all kinds of fleets, all kinds of applications. But uh, at any rate, I'm going to try this little tiny one here. It seems too small. It seems too light to me. And it's not even a new one, so we'll see. But uh, they sure are good looking. All right, let's get this one out. I've already taken the bracket off of this one. I'll just go ahead and set this one aside. So you can just follow along me, with me as I look at this and figure out how to do this. Okay. It has these special terminals that screw in here so I can hook a side terminal on. Also these can be used for a top terminal application. These are screwed on and they're torqued on so he told me you have to be careful. You gotta hold these tight when you're tightening up your terminals onto these. They're threaded. Ready. Got the same thread as these. Let's see. Oops. All right. Let's see here. Put it in like that. Wow. So it looks so small. Sears wrench here. Here's a handy dandy little kit here. It has like 10 bucks at Sears. Pretty good deal. You gotta wait till Christmas though when they put them on sale. I didn't even have to speed that up. I just use my fast, fast hands. struggle on this one a little bit interfering. A little tricky. Alright, I just got this snugged up here. Alright, it's on. Take a look at this. So there we have it. A little tiny battery sitting in a little tiny compartment there. Let's go hit the key and see what happens. did that job no problem okay now we need to uh, hold this thing down securely let's see what we can do you know actually I didn't bother to get any tips as to how to hold this in here uh, when I grabbed this so uh, yeah well we're going to need to uh, maybe get some tips on the best way to securely hold these little batteries inside these compartments of these cars I know that uh, Scott has some straps and different uh, uh, ways of doing this. So uh, again, another good reason for this link right over here. Probably get a hold of them and get these kind of questions answered. These uh, these links are called uh, 
uh, annotations, something we put in our vids to help people to navigate from one video to another. These are monetized vids, so you'll see the little ad running down below. Hopefully sometimes it'll be something that would be of interest to you. You can click on the ad. Whenever you click on any of these links, you can always come back to this video and watch it. So, let me think for just a little bit before I sign off on this job. <laughs> but my car's running. Okay, let's see if I can roll right through this here. We got a little bit of raindrops starting to fall again. It's uh, moving on into springtime, but still kind of wintry around Portland, Oregon here. Uh, this happens often when I'm doing my driveway repairs. But uh, anyway, I have found, rooted around in all my old stuff, and I've got another fix it here, another Rube Goldberg type fix it, little strap of metal here. Uh, it kind of feels like it's a little rubberized, but it's from an old, some other battery insulation I did before. This little thing here with the hooks had two of those go down there, and you know, it holds the battery steady, the hooks. That sort of thing. So I'm trying to make use of these bits and pieces to work on this application. And I'll show you what I'm trying to do. We'll see how well this ends up working. Get this out of here. Alright, here's the old hold down. It's a metric bolt. Just so happens a half inch socket fits right on it. Kind of handy. Anyway, and plus I put a little grease in the threads here. I'm going to use this, but uh, this is the old hold down that just grabbed the edge of the battery before, and we'll just hold it tight. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to stick my hook in right here at the edge where the hole is. Stick the hook in right there like that, and put it down. And when I put it, when I bolt it back down in, this goes into a. It holds this on. It'll hold this on like this tight. So it should be a pretty secure thing. Uh, let's see if we can get this done before it starts raining too hard. There we have it down in there. The little nook where it fits down in there, right there. As you can see, a little ledge there. So the idea is to just stick this right down in there and, and hold it tight. Now granted a cleaner insulation can be done, but anyway, so now I have this down there and it is sandwiched in there quite solid between that piece and the ledge right there. So let's see how close we can show this, but it's in there and uh, so here's what we do. Take my piece, just so happens but there's this little nut sort thing right here in the car. I don't know what it's for, this thing. So I just threaded it at quarter inch, coarse, and uh, figured I'll use it. So just take and put my little strap on here. I'm going to have to pull it a little bit to get it into place, like that. So then we just put our little quarter inch in there. handy dandy took my little broken tap and die set there and made a little uh, made my threads in there I'll put a washer underneath that I found a little spacer I can use because this is a little tall here so that's not the cleanest insulation but uh, you know whatever it takes I'm known for this sort of thing so I'm gonna stick it in and put the nut on there. Happens to be chrome plated, which is good when you're working around batteries. Not that you have to worry with these Odysseys. So anyway, there you go. You got this little tiny battery in your car. It's kind of cool to have. So if you're out racing, uh, when you go out to the track, people see that. There's always it's going to be a good conversation piece. Then you can explain to them what it is, and prove to them that you are on the cutting edge of racing technology. So, and these batteries are, I mean, you've got to step up the pay window for them, but they are uh, pretty cool to uh, have. Uh, uh, they'll last a lot longer, especially if you're parking stuff in the winter time and that sort of thing. These things last a lot longer. Because yeah, there's nothing worse than having your battery go dead every new season. 
Okay, let's get this thing all tightened up. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully this will be tight. And this will be uh, good enough for me for now. Uh, if you're racing, you know there may be certain things you have to do here for tech uh, to uh, make a proper installation. And of course you can do a much cleaner installation. But, uh, hmm. I guess that half inch isn't going to work on that. But uh, it just so happens the 10 works on this little quarter inch nut that I put in here. So, if you've got some questions on these batteries and installation, I'll probably get a link up there. You can get a hold of Scott and you can get yourself a battery and find out what it takes to run these things. You have yourself a cool battery. And that's the way that is. Alright, we'll get the right socket for this. Yeah, use a metric. I didn't know that. Okay. There it is, there it is right there. Okay, so who knows, maybe there'll be an ad for this at the bottom of the vid. These are monetized videos, <laughs> little streamer ads that run down below. Uh, if there is, you can click on that and get to them. Otherwise, if there's something else down there you like, click on it. We make pennies off those, off those ad clicks. All right, well there you go. Odyssey battery in my Camaro for now. I can always cut this down and make it cleaner. No, not a big problem. So, trying to think of what else I should say. Well, if you like what you see, uh, hit the like button. That helps. That helps us. It's good if you just do that for us. and uh, Or you can share or embed this by hitting the buttons below the video. And you can hit show more down there and that will bring you down to the, the uh, links. I may have additional links down below. In the description area below the video. We'll try to post some updates on these Odyssey battery installations. Uh, if you want to go ahead and hit subscribe up there, uh, you can uh, keep track and uh, see how this all works out in the future for us. Might help you make a decision of your own on these things. Later.